Hello everyone, in today's session we are going to burn a lot of calories because I am going to try and combine yoga with weight training and for that I got these babies with me. If you don't have them, don't worry, all you have to do is pick up, a, pick up two bottles that you already have at home, fill them with water so you can use them instead of weights. So let's burn calories. For open, let's begin with some neck rolls. So inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head, exhale, bring your left ear to your left shoulder, to the chest, make a move either in half or full neck rolls. I'm just going to do half neck rolls today, but we'll switch directions. After one more roll, bring your chin to your chest, and then switch directions.
Now from here, you're going to bring your weights down from the mat. Palms are going to face out. Once again, elbows are going to stay connected to your body. We're just going to do some bicep curls. So from here, five, four, just warming up the arms. Three, two, one. Place your weights down on your mat, or down the floor. Place your hands on your mat and step back to high plank. You're going to hold high plank still for this first round for another five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down onto your mat. On your next inhale, feel your chest up off of the floor. Lift your hands up off of your mat. Draw your elbows in. Keep your feet planted firmly on the floor. You're just going to press your arms forward and then pull back for five, four, three, two, one. Place your hands back underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, and press up high plank. Press back to downward facing dog. We're going to do that one up sequence on the other side. So lift your locked leg up behind you, three legged dog, three times right on your side, knee to nose. For three, two, one, three legged dog. Bring your knee toward your nose again, but this time set your foot between your hands, low lunge, place your back knee down on the floor. We're going to stretch the left hamstring by straightening the front leg. So half split pose and forward fold over your left leg. Option to flex your toes back. And then make your way back to low lunge. Set your back toes under, lift your knee, take your weights in your hands. You're going to come up to crescent lunge. Your weights are going to travel. Three, two, one, back to 90 degrees. Now you're going to press your weights together, elbows to touch, for five, four, three, two, one, back to 90 degrees. Now bring your weights straight down by your side, palms stays out, elbows stay in for bicep curls, for five, four, Three, two, one. Place your weights back down on the floor, hands to the mat. Step back to high plank pose. Hold your high plank. And this time you're just going to do little knee taps to the floor. So right, left, right, left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Back to high plank, chaturanga. Then come halfway down, elbows raise the ribs. Flip over to the tops of your feet. Press up to upward facing dog. And then press back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. And out. Right, lift your right leg up behind you, three leg dog. This time, right knee to right elbow. For three, press it back up. For two, and one, three leg dog. Place your right foot back between your hands. Take your weights into your hands. Travel up to crescent lunge. Okay, this time we're going to add the legs in. So place your palms face out, heads of the weights touch. You're going to dip your knee down towards your mat, 90 degrees, and then press it up. Three, two, one. Bring your hands to your heart. Place your left heel on the floor. Open up to warrior two, the heads of your weights face up and your arms stay, stay slightly bent. Hold here for one more breath, static hold. Bring your elbows in, palms face up. Bicep curls from this position, but we're going to add the legs. So release your weights down toward the floor. As you curl your arms up, you're going to straighten your leg for five. Four, three, two, one. Back to warrior two. Hold your legs steady, and then you're going to.
going to start to take little circles of your arms forward for 10, 9, In our reverse directions. Ten. For four, three, two, one. Back to warrior two. Now bring your hands back to your heart. Straighten your front leg. Reach your arms straight up. And again, a slight bend to your elbows as you come into triangle pose. So bring your left, your right hands down toward the floor, and then your left arm up toward the ceiling. Keep your side nice and long. Use your core to hold you here. And then make your way to five-pointed star. So hands come through your heart. Both feet point out. Arms reach up. Palms face out. Bring your hands back to your heart as you squat down. Okay? Now hold here in your squat. Go ahead and take just little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your elbows in, palms face up toward the ceiling. Keep your shoulders stacked directly over your hips. Hold your legs as they are, and then you're just going to press your arms straight forward and pull it back. Okay, we're halfway there. So this is five, four, three, two, one. Pull your weights in, bring them back to your heart. Okay, so you're going to hold your arms steady now, and you're just going to press your knees open. It's not even going to be that noticeable, but you're going to press your knees back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. From here, keep your hands where they are, straighten your legs, take your heels behind your toes, and then hinge forward from your hips. Release your weights down to your mat. Hang here. Take a full breath. Breathe in. And out. You can just walk your weights forward to the front of your mat. Release them back to low lunge. And step back to high plank pose. This time in high plank, you're going to do tall taps to the right and the left. So starting with your right foot. For 10, left, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Try to run it halfway down, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. 